The Nintendo DS is one of my favorite handheld consoles of all time. It's one of my favorite consoles of all time. It's just the library of games that Nintendo and other third-party outlets put out for this is astounding. And so this is my Nintendo DS Lite. I got this as my first one back in 2000 and what was it, six, I think. And I got uh, Super Mario 64 DS for it and uh, Advanced Wars Dual Strike. But we've got the Nintendo DS and then we've got the new Nintendo 3DS, which I have as the cosmic version. I usually play my DS games on this now, but every once in a while I'll fire this bad boy up. But these are the most rare and valuable Nintendo DS games I have in my collection. There are plenty of other games that are even higher than some of these that complete, come complete in box that are insanely hard to find or obscure or rare. Some of these aren't as rare as they are in demand, but let's go through some of these games really quick. Also, before we get to the list of uh, rare and valuable games here, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. It really helps me out to know what you guys wanna see. So without further ado, let's get to the first game here we have with Dragon Ball Origins. And this game uh, is a sort of top-down action game for the DS. And you can see here, we've got a complete copy and so based on price charting's data up of the most up-to-date as of the date of this video, it is, uh, what is it? Let me see here on my list. We've got $34 for a complete copy of Dragon Ball Origins. And so this one sort of combines what would likely be a lower print run game with the Dragon Ball IP. So you get that sort of mixing of things that make for somewhat rare, somewhat expensive games. This one's not too expensive, but it is a little bit more than normal for uh, $34 here for Dragon Ball Origins. But luckily this game is really, really fun. So if you pick pick it up for that price or higher, lower, whatever, you can get a great game. Some of these games on here are a little less good for the price, but Dragon Ball Origins is definitely a winner in my book. So we've got these grouped together. This is in no order until we get to the very end, but we've got the Castlevania games on the Nintendo DS. And I'm missing Order of Ecclesia, which would go right here. That's the most expensive of the, bu of the bunch, but we've got Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow and Castlevania Portrait of Ruin, which I actually have two copies of. So I wish it was Order of Ecclesia so I could have the complete collection here, but these games are great. Metroidvania, perfect. The double screens really work well with these games and you can check out Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. You can grab this one for about $60 complete in box. And uh, this one is a complete copy that I got, I think in a goodwill.com auction, but this one's great. And then of course we have Castlevania Portrait of Ruin, which does follow up on Castlevania Symphony of the Night. You'd think this one would be more expensive because of that, but I think this one has the highest print run out of all of them. And then of course, Order of Ecclesia, Ecclesia has the lowest, which makes it the most expensive and sort of somewhat more in demand. A game is also hard as hell. Um, I've emulated it, but I don't own an actual copy, but we do have Castlevania Portrait of Ruin coming in at $50. So just a little less expensive than Dawn of Sorrow. Order of Ecclesia, I believe comes in at around 80, 90 to hundred dollars. So if you can find that one, make sure to pick it up. And these two Castlevania games are fan fantastic amazing experiences on the ds great use of the double screens next up we have some rpgs on the handheld and there is no shortage of rpgs on the nintendo ds it's one of the best consoles ever the library rivals like the playstation one the super nintendo for rpg content and you can get turn-based rpgs and you can get some different style rpgs you can get the dragon quest games here's dragon quest 9 sentinels of the starry skies this is the only one i have for a long, long time, I was trying to get all the, the Dragon Quest games on the DS for cheap, and then the prices have skyrocketed since, and you can get this one um, for about $45. It's the cheapest of the bunch. Uh, this one's pretty easy to find. It's just, you know, in demand because it's a Dragon Quest game, and this one's pretty fun. I beat this game, and then, of course, we have... well. Uh, the world ends with you. Uh, this is just the normal version. There is a Switch port of this, so I don't know why this one is quite so expensive. Maybe it's because the Switch port is a little bit of a different gameplay style and it's updated, but you can get the original The World Ends With You from Square Enix here on the DS. You can grab The World Ends With You for $43 for a complete copy. And of course, this one is a complete copy. So make sure to look out for this one. It's really fun. The story is pretty crazy and this one uses the dual screens so well amazingly well so make sure to check out the world ends with you after that we've got a trio of games here i tried to group these together in sort of genre or style but we've got one that is a uh, uh in its series we've got custom robo arena 
and you can grab custom robo arena for about forty dollars complete i got this one definitely in a goodwill auction and uh, those were perfect for finding DS games on the cheap and especially in lots, but then people started figuring out about it and now it's a cesspool where everything goes for over its value, not just the common stuff. So Custom Robo Arena, different sort of style game in this series, but definitely a fun one. You used to be able to use a uh, Nintendo Wi-Fi connection to play this one online, but obviously that service is down now. But this one is magnificent. You can grab it for the DS and play it. It's really, really fun. And it's sort of that RPG style with Custom Robo. So make sure to check out Custom Robo Arena. Not a very super expensive game, but still getting up there in price. After that, we have a classic game in the series, the fourth game in the Contra series. We have Contra 4. This one, I remember grabbing this and it's just as difficult as all the other Contra games. It's really, really hard. Um, I can only get past like the third level in this one without using cheats or anything and so this one's really hard but it uses the dual screens so damn well you get the full vertical verticality of it it's like a vertical shooter but you're going sideways with it so lots of vertical jumping sequences and all that in contra 4 you can grab this one for about 53 dollars complete and let's get the case open here and you can see the manual and the and the game there. And uh, these DS cases, I love these, by the way. They look so nice on a shelf next to each other. But Contra 4, really fun and just great time playing with the Contra formula. And you can grab this one. And it's going up in price because this is the only place you can play Contra 4 on the DS. So make sure to grab it. Finally, for uh, the super non, super duper expensive non-Pokemon games here, we've got uh, Advance Wars Dual Strike. This was the first game that I bought for the DS, and this is my copy, original copy from GameStop. I bought it for $25. I used that birthday money to grab this because I love the Advance Wars games on the Game Boy. Cannot wait until we get the one for the Switch whenever that comes out. Hopefully it comes out sometime soon. But Advance Wars Dual Strike takes the formula from that first, those first two games and really ratchets it, ratchets it up. You get the wonderful looking battles on one screen and you have the tactical details on another screen. It plays really well on the DS. And of course, thank God I got a GameStop copy that had the manual with it. And Advance Wars Dual Strike is excellent. It's really, really fun. And if you can find this one, it's really great. You can get it. It's a complete copy runs you about $39, $40. So it's not super crazy, but it'll still cost you a little bit more than what you paid for it. But Advance Wars Dual Strike, really fun. Make sure to grab this one. So before we get to the two most expensive games in my Nintendo DS collection, we have to do this because one of these is technically the most expensive game, but I don't really want to count it in those because it's a Pokemon game and those games skyrocketed in popularity price or whatever. I did a YouTube short and a TikTok video about this, but we first off, we have Pokemon Heart Gold with the Pokewalker and the game and the manual. There's a version of this that comes with a little figure that's like thousands of dollars. But for this package, particular and specifically just without with not just the game here, you can get Heart Gold. This one re run, will run you about $280 depending on the version. I've kept my box really, really nice over the years. So this is a pretty nice copy of it. It has the Poke Walker. I did pick up the game finally and you can see the contents in there. Um, but heart gold it's the best pokemon game it's the best pokemon game ever made my generation will say that and the next generation will say it's emerald the generation after that will say it's brilliant diamond and shining pearl and all that but for my generation this is the pokemon game of choice it gives you everything you need to know about it i recently replayed this on my retroid pocket 3 and it was an excellent experience you can pick this one up you can pick the game up for like uh a used copy that's just the game, probably $80, but you have to look out for fake copies. There's a lot of fake copies running around of Pokemon games out there. It's really disappointing that they found ways to fake DS cartridges, which seemed like they would be impossible to fake, but these are, you can do a little trick with the light. This one has a, uh, I think it's a, an infrared sensor. Let's see what it is. It says it on the back here with the Pokewalker. I don't know if it's an infrared sensor, but it's a sensor that communicates with the Pokewalker. If you hold it up to the light, it should be a little more see-through than normal DS cartridges, and that's how a good way to tell if it's fake or not. But um, Heart Gold, great game. Speaking about Heart Gold, we do have Pokemon Soul Silver, which I did pick up from GameStop with, as the game only for $30. I think I got it for $27 actually with that Power Up Rewards price. But Soul Silver will run you about $135 for a complete copy, and. Uh, 
This isn't a complete, complete copy. It doesn't have the manual, but we do have the game here at least. So you can get Soul Silver for about 135, maybe $100 or $110 without the manual with the box. And you get some great Pokemon action here with both of these games. And finishing up with Pokemon games, I don't own Pokemon Black, White, or White, Black and White 2. Um, I've had those, my stupid self sold them, and now Black and White 2 are very in demand, very expensive, reaching almost those prices for them. But we do have the Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Platinum um, games in this series. Platinum is very in demand and very faked. Diamond is a little less in demand because there is the remake of it and you get some of the same content. Not all the Pokemon Platinum content, but you do get a lot of content in that remake. And you can pick up uh, Platinum for like $115 complete and you can get Pokemon Soul, uh, Soul Silver. You can get Pokemon Diamond complete for about $52 and Pearl is about the same. So you can get the, the Pokemon games on the DS are, some of them are more expensive than others. The Game Boy Advance ones are outrageous. Like Pokemon Emerald on the Game Boy Advance just for the cartridge, which is incredibly faked. One of the most faked games out there is very expensive, but now we'll get to the last two most expensive games and rare in-demand games. One of these makes no sense to me how it's this expensive, but first off, we have my favorite RPG of all time, and this this version, not the PlayStation version, not the Super Nintendo version, but Chrono Trigger on the DS. They changed up the combat system a little bit. Chrono Trigger on the DS is the best RPG ever made, and this is the remake that they did. It's basically ports over the game, but you get a little bit change in the combat system. My copy would be complete if my dumbass didn't take the poster that was included and put it up on my wall when I was in high school. But uh, other than that, this is a complete copy, which will run you about $103. So this one's very, very in demand, very expensive, but it's well worth the price if you can find it. If you can find it for less than that, if you can find it for $20 new somewhere, you know, go for it. But it's surprising that Square Enix never reprinted this one, and they've never put this specific version on anything else. So if you do want to look out for it, play it on the Retroid Pocket or some emulation system with a touchscreen, and you'll get the best Chrono Trigger experience out there. Finally, besides Pokemon Heart Gold in the box with all the, the, the goodies, we do have my most expensive Nintendo and rarest Nintendo DS game here. It's not uh, Little Red's uh, you know Zombie Barbecue or whatever the hell that game's called, or Solo to Robo. It is not Final Fantasy, it is Fighting Fantasy, the Warlock of Firetop Mountain. I got this one in a Goodwill auction, and I did not know that it was an expensive or rare game. I just thought, oh, wow, that looks kind of cool. It's like a first-person sort of 3D uh, RPG game, and it's fine. It's not a great game. I've played it a little bit here and there, but it's it's. I have no idea why this is this expensive, and this game will run you for a complete copy. It'll run you about $143, and here is the complete copy right here with the manual. And so, uh, it's sort of, yeah, it's sort of like a dungeon crawler in 3D. The, the graphics look pretty nice for the DS. The gameplay is pretty fun, but it's just kind of, eh, it, you know. I don't know why this game is this expensive. If someone out there can tell me why, besides a low print run or something like that, let me know. But, yeah, this one... Um, not worth $143 in my opinion. I got it in a lot with a bunch of other DS games. So that's how you get some of these games sometimes. But that'll do it for the rarest and most valuable Nintendo DS games I own. What are some rare and valuable Nintendo DS games you own? Some of the ones that I have on my wish list. I'm really looking for Aliens Infestation. That's my number one. I had a Goodwill auction that I thought was going to be, oh man, I'm going to pay, you know, $50 for Aliens Inf Infestation and get a bunch of other crappy games for free. Did not work out in my favor. Someone else found it and a bit of jacked up the price. But what are some of your favorite Nintendo DS games? Let me know in the comments and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because it really helps me out to know what you want to see. We're getting a lot more gaming content on the channel. We've had some shorts about Nintendo 64 games. We'll have a short about Fighting Fantasy coming up soon. So make sure to check out my shorts content. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and do all that stuff. So thank you for watching. And from me to, and you, uh, me to you and all the Nintendo DS games here, thank you for watching, and I will see you again real soon.